Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd do another Rust game. Um, I enjoyed the, the, the game last time. I've not played it since that game, um, so I wanted to do another one. Jump on ranked and see how we do. Right, let's just jump in. Auto match again. So thanks to everyone who's been commenting, um, some advice and you know tips for the game. Because I'm, I'm very much a novice in this game, so it's been all uh, appreciated. So I'm hoping I'm a, a, little, a slightly better player than I was last time. Oh, I've got, is, is beginner upgrade from, well, it must be an upgrade from novice. There may have been an update to this game while I was not playing it, so yeah, this might be slightly different. So yeah, game two, let's see how we can do. Again, my aim in this game is to be not the, <laughs> not the first one out. That's the, the, the key, the key goal right now. Okay, it's, oh, it's a five player game, not a six, okay. Oh, we're green again, cool, okay. And we're also strong in the Americas, perfect. I liked last time um, being in the Merrick because it seemed quite a strong position to me. I don't know if that's a some of the more experienced players in the comments might have to help me out with that. What's a good concept to go for early game? But for me, the, the Americas seem quite good. I guess South America, that's the weakest one. South America and Australia, yeah, they're, they're the, the poorest places to go for. North America's good. Okay, so we make a beeline for North America, I guess. See if we can control it early on. We've got seven sitting. Where is that? Actually, it's just Central America. Okay. That's Central America. So who we've got then? We've got a novice, orange player, beginner, red player, beginner, and no okay, cool, so we're all in the same kind of boat. That's good. Yeah, I like my position, I'll be honest. I think, do we go for... Oh, crap. Red's got the same idea. Okay, he's going to go for blue, though, first. Where are you going, dude? Okay. So we're going to have to contest with red, it looks like, in North America. Um, but we do have the advantage. We've got the most armies in North America. Out of anyone, so I think that should should favour us then. We'll make a play for it. Here we go. So four total troops. Let's draft it. Western United States, and we'll go for the Eastern United States as well. I think we'll probably call it there. Um, yeah, let's call it there. And let's reinforce from this one. There you go. I'm kind of sort of keeping the armies in South America as well, because they can't really be taken right now. Unless Luke can... No, he's going to go for Africa. Okay. And all it takes is, in South America, just one, maybe one deployment, and I can probably take a few... I can maybe control the whole continent, so that's probably what I'm going to go for. I'd take... Yeah, take me. I would. Yep. He lost a lot in that attack, actually. That's good. That's good for us. I think maybe the players to secure... What's this? Venezuela. If we secure Venezuela, or even actually pull back to Central America. Keep that safe from attacks from the south, and then we can just focus purely on North America first. Once we get control of North America, then we can start thinking about expanding, but have one... Yeah, he's going to push in. Oh, he's just securing him today, actually, as well. So Blue's doing okay now. He's got a continent. The first one of us to get a continent. And Orange is going to be second, by the looks of it. So what's the actual uh, bonus for Africa? Three, okay. It's not bad. To get that control early as well, that's pretty good. So Blue could be a, a strong player in this then. Alright, Red, this is the key move for us. Let's see what he does. If he deploys... Oh, he's gone there, okay. Interesting. Hmm. 
I guess we have to just go for it. Do we try and take Quebec? I guess we have to. This is a bit scary, but let's do it. 82% chance. Come on. Bollocks. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's really costly. How unfortunate is that? Yeah, okay, so it's reinforced then. Damn it. Well, we killed a lot of armies as well from, from red, so hopefully next time we can get in there. Okay. What's blue up to? He's just gonna. I guess the play for blue really could be just to secure Africa and just wait things out. He can. He's got the best economy right now. In fact, let's turn that thing on as well. Let's get some information. Where's the actual? Okay, there we go. Yeah, so blue and uh, orange are doing, I, I would say, the best so far. Both got a continent. With some armies knocking about. We're, we're pretty weak, to be fair. Red's also struggling. Given the fact we're warring against each other. Yellow's okay. Just about, I suppose. Yeah, I think we, we very need, quickly need to take North America to have a chance. Because we need to start producing some proper armies. It's good that Red's abandoning in North America now. He's not going to try and reinforce there. So that's good for us. Damn, Orange has already got a three cards. Oh, there's red, actually. Yeah, we need to get, need to get attacking. So people were saying in the comments that a, a good strategy in this is to sort of attack, go out and attack, and then obviously fortify somewhere else. So you, you get cards by attacking. So attacking each turn is, is a good thing to do. All right, let's just reinforce here. Because obviously the cards are going to start really influence the game. So you want as many as possible. Okay, we took that finally. Good. Um, let's try it. It's risky, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, we took it. Good. Okay. So let's fortify here. Was that a bad move? Yes, I think it was. I was trying to shore up all the angles from the, the northern, but actually it would be better off if we had all everything in one place so we could clear out the, uh, the north there. Okay. Well, we control the most uh, territories as of now. It doesn't really help a lot because we've got <laughs> it's not one continent and we're pretty weak in all of them, but we do control the most for now. We're low on armies though, I think, yeah, the fighting with red has cost us quite a lot. We are low down. Come on, Blue, what are you doing? So we've got our cards. So also someone mentioned that um, if you hand in a card, um, obviously they've got provinces on them. If you hand in a card and you own, you own the province um, that you've handed in, then you'll get a bonus into that province, which is pretty cool. So. Got to look out for that. We turn in things. Okay, that took him an awfully long time to draft a couple of troops. And also, why would you not attack yellow? He's, he's taking part of the continent. Wow, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why blue didn't just recaptured this because he won't get his bonus next turn also he's taking a long time <laughs> long time to move <laughs> okay we're getting close to taking out uh everything in north america though i'll leave probably greenland as it is because we can't get taken that easily i suppose and we can just focus down these two now and I think, yeah, take North America, we'll go straight back for South America, as long as our border here to Asia is safe. And then we can just sit back, like we did last game, we can just sit back. Oh no. Okay, moving up. Here he comes. 
Okay. Blue first. Then me, I guess. Okay, fortifying. So yeah, so he, he can't reinforce things in these two, so he's going to have to deploy here, and that's, that's the only troops we'll get, so that's good for us in a sense. He's mainly focusing on controlling uh, Australia. Red might come in from this way. Actually, what's the what's the territory for Asia? He's going for Asia, but he's got a lot to conquer. It's going to be tricky. For me, I don't know if this is right, but it seems that Europe and Asia are the trickiest ones to capture because they're so open from different angles. Um, I feel like with definitely with Australia in particular, it's, it's the lowest value, but it's got one one way in, one way out, <laughs> which makes it easy to defend, I suppose. Like Orange is doing now. Um, okay, let's draft up here. Yep. Okay. Good. Okay, one more, and we've con we're controlling North America, which would be fantastic. What's our cards? Okay, we've got three. Good. Okay, we've got three um, artillery cards. Oh, I'm assuming that that does this count as an artillery if we trade it in? Can it be played as anything you want, or I'm not sure. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out next time. So you're starting to see a picture emerge here of what's happening. You can see where orange's gone for. Red's gone for Asia, orange, Australia, blue, Africa. I'm just trying in South America. We've gone for North American yellows in Europe. So I think obviously mean I'll be stronger than most. I think if I get control of North America, so that's a five. We might have to try and contest red a bit as well if we can to try and stop them getting. Well, we need. I think orange should be fine. Does orange? Yeah, orange is holding a, a portion of Asia, which is good for us. It's going to deny red any more bonuses. So actually, Orange is dealing with that for us, which is good. Um, where are you going, Blue? So I think for us now, it's about just shoring up the borders and just sitting back. And occasionally just doing a, bit, a few skirmishes, like that guy said, just to uh, to gain some cards on the attacks. But generally speaking, we're just trying to um, defend now while our economy improves. Okay, you're going to draft into South America, I guess. Yep. Of course you are. So actually now, I've got to be a bit careful. Okay, three and three. I'm just thinking what to do now because we're obviously we're, we're in danger of losing a territory in the southern North America, or Central America as it's, as it's called in this. Because Orange could very easily push push north there and deny us our territory. I hope that lets us deploy more. <laughs> I would like it to. I think what I might have to do in... The... Okay, he's gone... Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't see red jumping over to North America. I think we, sh we should be safe from red. He's just trying to clear out everything else in Asia first. I'm thinking if we can't deploy um, these artillery cards, then I think we'll probably have to shore up Central America first before we take the last settlement, the last province, because if we don't, then Orange could variously deploy here and then march into, you know, Central America causes cause us problems. Let's just see if we can do it. We can. Ooh, bonus. Let's do it. Can we draft in multiple places? I think we can. Good, let's do eight there. To finish off Alaska, and then we'll put the rest in here. There you go, good. Perfect. Nice, okay, we have North America. It's done. Cool. Um, now, I don't want to push in just... 
we take red? No, I think I think we I think we just wait for a second. We'll probably what I'll do is I'll reinforce Central America. I think next time we could probably fortify slightly as well. Actually, let's fortify. How much do we want to put in there? Leave it as four. What's what's red got over here? Red's not interesting anyway. He's going to go for Asia. That's, we'll leave four in there. And we'll put the rest in Central America. There you go. Let's do that. Cool. All right. Progress is being made. We have a continent and a good one at that. So, oh, actually, is, is yellow got all of Europe? I think he has, isn't he? Yep, he has. Okay, which is plus five. Okay, that's nasty then. So, in fact, let's go for a. Does he want an alliance? Okay, I can't. While he's offline, I can't. Seems like I can't offer an alliance. What I'd like to do is get an alliance with yellow. So he can focus on, obviously, Asia and um, Africa. Then I can start working on also, also Asia and maybe some South American territories as well. That's what I'd like to do. If he comes back online, we can try and negotiate. We're doing better for our armies now. I think we'll, we'll start to catch up slowly as well. 35, blue and orange are obviously doing the best. They've had the, the least fighting to do so far. Okay, this is shoring up. Uh, damn it. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think I'm, I'm going to get into uh, <laughs> South America anytime soon. Bloody hell. What's his total then? Is it, It's four, okay. So I need, to, I need to be raiding then. I need to be either raiding yellow or red to get some cards. Um, I'd like it to be red, I think, if possible. Oh, he's traded some stuff. Can I negotiate? Are you back online yet? Nope. I'm not sure. Are people playing on, like, phones? Is that a, is it like a... I can't even negotiate. Okay. Let's try with let's try with red one because we can we can just harass um harass yellow, who's looking quite strong now. Let's try and do it now, making alliance. Eight for us. Okay, awesome. So red's extended the alliance, good. So we we're, we're safe up here, which means we can focus down here. I think we're going to try and harass. Um, let's let's do it. Let's do it. What do we attack? We attack this. I'm gonna risk it. Yes, yeah, nice. Good. Okay, I'm not gonna attack any more. I wanna just sit back. I wanna try and fortify that. We have to fortify here, I think. Um, move a few over. Put like four there. What's it going to be? Central America 14. Yes, do that. Yes, do that. With the card there, good. We're also denying uh, yellow Europe as a continent, so they won't get the bonus. Which is good. Okay, we've got cavalry. Nice. Six, not bad. Yeah, I really couldn't call it so far, in terms of who's going to win this one. I think we're, we're all doing pretty well. Yellow is, I would say, probably the weakest now, actually. Based on purely armies. And he's surrounded as well. I think, yeah, yellow could be the first out. As long as we hold our ground. The thing is, he's got me attacking from the north, and he's got blue from the south. So, yeah, he's, he's a bit of a bit of a struggle right now. Wow, blue's really going for it. The thing is, could red potentially like? Yeah, I like the sort of the, the way the the game plays out because if red goes for blue here, which he probably could do, he's leaving his back door open in Asia for the orange player because orange can sweep through from Australia and just take out pretty much everything. It's gonna be really yeah, you gotta be really careful. Orange is doing really well though. His, his armies is just so far ahead of everyone else. Everyone else's two continents. 
good number of territories. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna do well. Red's pressuring though, which is nice. It's gonna mean he's gonna be deploying down there. I think we could go for South America actually on this one. That's a big hit. That's a huge hit. Uh oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Red. <laughs> okay, Red looks like he's gonna. Yeah, it's Red's out. Yep. <laughs> I understand the emoji. Oh dear. Wow. That's given Orange a commanding lead. He was in the lead before that move, but now he's really stepping it up. So he's gonna control Asia probably quite soon. Bloody Nora. Which also means we're going to have to shore up our borders because we're in danger <laughs> now from the switch from the, the connecting bridge from Asia to uh, North America. Damn it. I'm going to try. Right, blue, alliance. We, we need allies in this fight now. <laughs> we're struggling. <laughs> Doesn't really ha help us much having blue as an ally because they're obviously. We're not. In, yeah. I just need him to pressure orange, that's all I need. Now what do we go for here? What do we go for? We could reinforce here. I think that's... Let's, let's do it. I want to try and hurt orange if we can. Let's do it. It was costly. Extremely costly. Bloody hell. Oof, that was painful. Really painful. Right, let's pull you back. Damn. We're denying them the South America for now, though, which is good. So, then we'll get the bonus for that. Now, we've got cavalry cards. On the Congo, where is that located? Can we see who control? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's cool. It shows who's controlling it currently. So, obviously, that's blue. So, we're going to get a bonus for that. But, we will get a... Okay. Blue ignored my request for an alliance as well. So, he's not too fussed. This is also really good for us because it's going to keep Orange extremely occupied and not worrying about uh, South America. Interesting. Well, so far it looks like Yellow's going to be the second player out, I'll be honest. I don't see a way back from this. Don't go for me. Good. <laughs> Again, though, we're sort of we're <laughs> living on the edge. Where is that, Iceland? Yeah, Iceland. It's a bit close. Okay, it's going to reinforce back to Africa. Okay, fair enough. Defending his continent, makes sense. Uh oh. You went there, really? I thought he was going to go for Asia. Oh crap, we're going to get wiped out here. Damn. He played his cards and. Yeah, he's going to go. He's going to destroy me here. Got to have some hits back on the six, I hope. Eight. Lost. That was pretty good. Pretty good. How far is he going to go? I would keep attacking if I was him, because I've, I've got enough. Okay, it's four or five. I'm surprised he went for me, though. I'll be honest, I didn't think he'd go for that, but... I guess it worked. I'm struggling now. <laughs> yeah, let's do it with the counter. Cause problems. Three troops. That's terrible. I have to, have to trade these in. Hundred percent. Got to trade them in now. Um, so put everything there. We can't attack, obviously. Um, I need to fortify from different areas to just try and beat back Orange here. So I can't attack. Uh, let's do this one. So 
So for blue, I think Europe's wide open now. If he goes for... Yeah, I don't see anything stopping him there. He might even take Iceland from me to get it this turn. What's the play? What's the play? Okay, why would you take the center one first? Because you, you can't capture them all now, can you not? See, that choice, the way he went there, doesn't make sense to me. Why would you not go right or left first, just so he can circle back and take everything in one turn? Because he could have controlled Europe by this turn. Hmm, very bizarre. <laughs> the way it looks right now, it's going to be yellow out next, then me, then probably orange, I'd say, based on what's happening now. But you never know, it might swing back in our favour. I guess in this game, at a certain point, you know you've lost, like, the power bar is just too heavily against you, that you know you <laughs> say it's a matter of time. And it's starting to feel a bit like that at the moment. Blue is looking very strong. Okay, Blue, what's the plan, dude? Gotta make a move. So I'm not sure how the ranking points work in this, if you like survive to a certain stage, if, you, if you're if you the first one out, the second one out, obviously you get less points, so I don't know if that's how it works, but... Because we're not the first ones out, and I don't think we'll be the second ones out either, so... Oh god, here we go. Here we go for the 13. You know what, we might be the second ones out. <laughs> Very likely. It'll take the 13. Damn it, he, oh, he didn't lose anything hardly either, damn it. Oh, here goes the Empire. <laughs> we deployed our cards as well, so that's that's our last that's our uh, last trick up the sleeve. Damn. <laughs> Iceland's our final stronghold. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get the second ones out then, I guess. Let's could hold up, somehow hold out. <laughs> well, it was a, lot, a much shorter game today than it was the first game. For obvious reasons. Okay, yeah, has got cards as well, so yeah, he won't be out anytime soon. He's got a few turns left in him. Yeah, I think, I think what swung it for me there was the fact that Orange went for the Americas and not Asia. I expected him to go for uh, an attack on Asia because he had a lot of troops there, but actually he swung back and went to South America first. So yeah, it just sort of uh, screwed me over a bit. So what's actually good? Yeah, we can't, we can't defend. Do go out in a blaze of glory, just try and take everything we can. Let's do it. I realise we're killing ourselves because we can't now defend all these territories, but... <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting card bonuses, that's the key. <laughs> Try and hang on for one more turn. Okay, blue. What's the play? So you should take Europe this turn. Asia's still contested because Orange is not giving up that what what is that actually? Siam, okay, he's not giving up Siam, so that's gonna be really tough to break. So Asia won't become a continent for anybody anytime soon. Possibly orange later on in the game, but he won't need it, I don't think, with North America, South America and Australia. Yeah, cards are really important, really important. And also getting a getting a continent early as possible. Because as soon as you get continent, your troop production goes up massively. And it just gives you that massive head start against everyone else who's not got a continent. Just the, they'll just fall way behind and it gives you a good leg up. Because blue was the first one to get a continent, I think, in this game. Followed by orange, which is why they're doing... I think that's probably why they're doing really well now. Because they have the early economy over uh, the rest of us. I was a bit too slow taking a continent, I think. That's the problem, but here we go. 
Our doom awaits. <laughs> there we go. We're out. Oh, it was a good game though. It was good fun. There we go. So, game two, a loss, but it was all good experience. So I think I'm, I'm gaining experience a lot as I go, which is good. So if we keep playing, I'm sure I'll uh, can develop some good strategy for uh, surviving to the end. But no, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I, I, will, keep, I will keep playing it. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. It's a nice break from... Uh, Axis and allies. It's not quite as intense. It's a bit more, a bit more relaxing. So, yeah, it's great. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll yeah see you in the next game. Take care.